Vietnam's ruling Communist Party has wrapped up its week-long National Congress. Party chief Nguyen Phu Trong has been re-elected for a rare third term. The 76-year-old becomes one of the longest-serving leaders in the Southeast Asian nation. Tung Ngo with more. At the end of its National Congress on Monday, Vietnam's ruling Communist Party unveiled the team of party officials that will lead the country in the next five years. On the stage are members of the party's new Central Committee. At the heart of it is the 18-member Politburo, the apex decision-making body in Vietnam, led by this man in grey hair, 76-year-old Nguyen Phu Chok. The Congress closing ceremony marks the beginning of Mr. Chong's third term in office. The party Congress did not alter their written rules this time, but instead provided waivers for Mr. Chong on age and term limits, cementing his position as Vietnam's most powerful leader and longest serving party chief in decades. Vinh dự bao giờ cũng đi đôi với trách nhiệm. Vinh dự càng cao thì trách nhiệm càng lớn, nhất là nhiệm vụ trong giai đoạn sắp tới. Như trong các văn kiện trình đại hội vừa qua đã nói, có rất nhiều thuận lợi, thời cơ, nhưng mà cũng có muôn vàn khó khăn, thử thách, có những điều không thể lường trước được. Xin hứa với các đồng chí, với đại hội sẽ là một khối đoàn kết thống nhất cao và sẽ như bác Hồ đã nói, đại hội là một dịp đã đoàn kết càng đoàn kết hơn, đã tiến bộ ngày càng tiến bộ hơn. Mr. Trump's unprecedented campaign against corruption in the last five years elevated his status within the party ranks and helped him consolidate popular support. Mr. Chong vowed to continue his fight against corruption, which he sees as one of the biggest threats to the survival of his ruling party. Tôi xin khẳng định đây là cuộc đấu tranh còn lâu dài, gian khổ, quyết liệt. À, vừa qua mới là hạn chế nó, ngăn ngừa nó được một bước thôi. Nên đây là một cuộc đấu tranh còn gian nan lắm. At the conclusion of its Congress, Vietnam's Communist Party also rolled out an economic blueprint for Vietnam to become a developed country with high income in the next two and a half decades. The party is set to promote good relations with neighbors and major powers in the world to maintain peace for Vietnam's economic growth. Despite the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic, Vietnam targets annual GDP expansion of up to 7% in the next five years. Further economic reforms and innovations are among key drivers for Vietnam to achieve these goals. Tung Ngo, CNA, Hanoi.